Hello, my name is Michelle White, and this is my tutorial on the announcement widget. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. As you can see, I'm already in the layout editor. And again, to kind of walk over those steps, the first step is to create a, to create a zone. The second step is to add the widget. And then the third step, of course, is to stylize it. Now with this particular widget, we actually don't have any stylizing. Um, we do have some configurations, which we'll kind of go over. But for, mainly, the only thing we need to sort of worry about is sort of creating the zone and adding the widget. So up in the top right here, it says new zone. So we'll select that button and then we'll go ahead and give it a name. Now you can name this whatever you want. I always encourage everybody to name their zone based on whatever widget they're grabbing. Uh, it's just a nice little one-on-one -on -one connection. That way at a glance, you know, when you're looking at your zones, you know exactly kind of what widget is in there. So again, I'm going to call it announcement. I'm going to hit next. Now, one thing you do guys want to keep in mind is that when you are dealing with your announcement, um, another terminology, you guys, is called a playlist. Now, both of them in our sort of CMS are the exact same things. Um, essentially, what it is is that it's a series of your content, right? It's, it's a playlist of, you know, everything you've uploaded into the system, whether it's a PowerPoint or an Excel file, maybe you're uploading a JPEG or a video, uh, maybe you've, you've used our backend to sort of create that sort of content. All of that stuff is, is a loop, right? It's a loop of assets or a bucket of media assets. And th that bucket of content gets applied to a playlist. Again, announcement playlist, exact same thing. So when we're dealing with our zone size, we want to make sure that this zone size is staying at a 16-9 ratio. Now, as a default, that means that it's at 1280 by 720. And I'm going to dig into that in just a sec, but I'm going to go ahead and hit submit and close just to sort of get this zone created and kind of, you know, continue on with the tutorial. But I'm going to sort of come, come back and sort of touch base on that 169 ratio. Now, once again, you guys, the one thing I've always mentioned is that you want to make sure that Z index is set to one because we want it to sit on top of the background. All right, so here we are, we've created our zone. We know it's at a 69 ratio. Um, the second step or the final step really is to add the widget. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click in here. I'm gonna hit add widget and it is the very first thing that you see. So I'm gonna select it of course. And now I'm gonna jump right into the second announcement or the second tab I should say for some configuration. So as you can see, if you guys do have multiple playlists, you know, you might have like a marketing or you might have uh, maybe a location or whatever. Um, this is where you can select that particular playlist to be tied to this widget. Um, you can actually create a brand new one right here. Um, for the most part, everyone usually kind of has that one playlist. Once it's created, you never really have to keep kind of creating new ones, but you technically could. Um, this override background, so to better explain this is, let's say we have two assets in my playlist, okay? I have a JPEG and I have a video. As a default, what's gonna happen is the JPEG is gonna show, and then when the video or when the JPEG is done, it's gonna fade into black, okay? When it fades into black, then the video shows. Well, maybe you're like, hey, Michelle, I don't really want it to fade into a black. Can I have it fade into, you know, a red or a white? This is where you could change that color. Or maybe you want it transparent. Maybe when it's fading from one asset to another, maybe you want to kind of see your background a little bit. This is where you could make those adjustments. And then the last thing here is a shuffle. So for whatever reason, maybe in your playlist, you know, you have an order, you have 10 assets and you're like, eh, I just kind of want to shuffle it up. You know, I don't really care what runs. This is where this would come in handy. Now let's kind of tackle sort of that 69 ratio, kind of what I was referring to earlier. So again, default size is 1280 by 720. But let's say you're like, hey, Michelle, you know what? I really want to line up, kind of match the height of this section right here. Um, how do I do that, but how do I still sort of keep it a 69 ratio? So the first part what I would do is maybe just eyeball it, is just bring this up, okay? And I'm, I'm completely eyeballing sort of the height right here. Now to sort of confirm that this guy is staying at a 69 ratio, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a new tab, I'm gonna go to Google, and I'm gonna type in 69 ratio. 
Now, just to kind of even explain what this is, is that if you don't have this ratio the right size, what is going to happen is that if you have any videos that are plain, basically you're gonna get black bars on the top and bottom. And so we probably don't really want that, so that's why we wanna make sure that our announcement zone is staying at that ratio. So as you guys saw, I did just type in 69 ratio. I'm kind of scrolling down. This is sort of the one website that I like. There's a series of them. You guys can sort of choose, you know, whichever one fits your needs. So what I need to do now is I need to type in the width, and then for me, it's just gonna generate the height. So I clicked on here, I sort of eyeballed it as you saw. I'm gonna type in 1368. So 1368, which means that my height has to be at 770. So what I can do is just come in here and actually that was a pretty good eye adjustment. Um, it actually kept it, yeah, I actually kept it the right size, which is pretty good. Um, but if I didn't, you guys, I could just come in here, make the necessary adjustments and hit okay. So this guy is now at a 69 ratio. When I go to hit the preview to sort of, you know, preview what is running in my assets, if I have any videos that are running, it's going to stay true to the actual size. I won't have any black bars on the top or bottom. So that is the overview or sort of the tutorial of this particular widget. If you guys do have any additional questions, definitely give us a call or email us. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.